Ah, you're back. Allow me to introduce the winery's master brewer. So many mist flowers. Great. I can't wait to see how this turns out. So, are you certain the equipment can withstand this level of purity? Oh my, my goodness. The winery owner himself is addressing me directly. Uh, don't worry, sir. It is always my honor to serve you, even if it means risking my life. Huh? What's so life-threatening about this? Uh, please, excuse me. I must get to work. What's he gonna do with a bunch of mist flowers? Long story short. A few days ago, the winery was experimenting with some new flavors. They wanted to see if mist flower can truly add a crisp and refreshing taste. Sure enough, they discovered that the flower's extract is truly potent. So the new batch is selling like hotcakes? No, not potent in terms of attracting customers, but slimes. Slimes need to extract elemental energy to survive. For them, this substance is simply irresistible. So I thought to myself, I wonder how much trouble I could cause now that I know this. Yikes! What was that noise? Oh, cold! So cold! <laughs> oh, Master D. Luke, purification complete, sir! But the equipment is... Marvelous work. Don't fret about the equipment. I shall have my butler order more immediately. Marvelous! Jelly ho! Spiffing! Somebody fetch the butler! Paima never knew you had to be so well-spoken to get a job in the alcohol industry. This is what I was talking about. Mist flower extract. Or, for our purposes, elemental bait. Wow! It really has a strong elemental... whiff. Can we test it out? Sprinkle a little on the ground over there. Careful. Just a small amount. And then... that's it? How long does it take before... Holy moly, it really does attract slimes! And even more than we expected! It appears the potency is greater than anticipated. We'd better get rid of them before they wreak havoc on the manor. Yes, the plan is. And so, I expect it to all go down without a hitch. Hmm, are you sure it will work? You're the only person in the plan. I have persevered alone from the start. Now, 
I alone must face what lies ahead. Well, if you already made up your mind. But until that moment comes, we can still help you out where we can. Isn't that right? I am indeed indebted to you. I shall see you at the tavern, as per the plan. Let's wait until evening to meet Master Diluc at the tavern. Greetings, Mr. Hoffman of the Knights of Favonius. To what do I owe the pleasure at this hour? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> I'm merely procrastinating. I thought I might indulge myself with a beverage or two. Ah, Traveler. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, we were in the mood for an evening stroll. What would you like to drink? I'll have a dandelion wine, I suppose. Ooh, I don't want apple juice. Aw, but Paimon forgot to bring her coin pouch. Do you have any more on you? Then I must regretfully ask you to come back when you can pay. Well, in that case, let this be my treat. No need. We'll be back in a jiffy. I can't give up. showed up just as expected okay remember the plan go to the city side gate and place the elemental bait whoa you used all of it this is gonna be pretty epic yikes here comes the slimes Quick, let's get to the tavern before anyone spots us! Captain Kaya is no doubt a formidable knight, but he also brings us more than his share of hassle. Uh, no, no, this isn't right. I should not be talking about my superior in such a manner. If he were to overhear me... We're back! Is my apple juice ready? <laughs> One moment. <laughs> Mr. Huffman! Mr. Huffman! A situation at the side gate! Everyone to the side gate! What is it? What happened? Uh, it's... Slimes, Mr. Huffman. Slimes? You see them all the time. What's the big panic? We do, but... Sir, there are more slimes out there now than all the slimes I've seen in my life added together. Uh, whoa. Well, surely this couldn't be the Abyss Order's secret weapon. But I have another matter to attend to here. Oh? The matter of your dandelion wine? No, no, I, I, uh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so this is how the Knights of Favonius conduct themselves in a crisis. The Abyss Order is encroaching on the city gates, and your response is to sit here drinking wine? It's like I've always said, the Knights are not to be trusted. I... Uh, 
Master D. Luke is right. My conduct here has been below par. I shall set off at once. But first, may I have a quiet word? Huh? Shh, keep your voice down. I presume you know what this is about. Please watch D. Luke for me. Do not let him leave under any circumstances. I must head to the side gate, but I'll be back shortly. I'm counting on you. Good. That's him out of the way. Everything's going according to plan. I must get going too. I won't have a second to spare if I'm to be back in time. I can't give up. Ah, there you are. Dealing with you will be the easy part.
Not a baddie left standing. Nothing more than a few hilly churls. No time to chat. I don't know how long those slimes will keep Huffman occupied. Best get back to the tavern. <sighs> Glad that's settled. Let's get back to the tavern. You think Huffman is back yet? It seems Huffman hasn't yet returned. He made it in time. <sighs> the situation is sorted now. I never expected that the Abyss Order's army would turn out to be nothing more than a few slimes. <laughs> that is a surprise. Perhaps the Knight's true calling is to be slime exterminators. Who knows? Domestic pest control may turn out to be a more valuable use of your resources. <sighs> Master D. Luke, please, have you no respect at all? Well, how come you're sweating so much? You didn't leave, did you? Is it? But if that's the case, why are you also out of breath? Uh-oh, Huffman is getting suspicious. Uh, hmm. Excuse me, sir. Might I be so bold as to inquire? Did you see Master D. Luke, uh, I mean, today's bartender, uh, did you see him leave just now? Yikes! He's asking other customers! We're done for! Master D. Luke? Why, no. He's been behind the bar this entire time. I see. Mr. Huffman, your dandelion wine. You ought to get back after this. Send my regards to the rest of the knights. Oh, never mind. I must be going. I should report back. Here, take this as a token of my esteem. Hmm, how odd. Whew, that was too close. Paimon was sure we were toast. I foresaw this eventuality. So, all the guests here tonight, save you two, are my own people from the Dawn Winery. They're all in on it? Not all of them. Or should I say, not all of us. Kaya, where did you come from? I just picked a good spot to quietly sit and watch the show. What? You've been here this whole time? Correct. The Dark Knight Hero's Alibi. I think it's my favorite chapter so far. More intriguing than a fine wine. <sighs> so, you plan to report everything to the Knights of Favonius? <laughs> Come now, Diluc. You know me better than that. I have no interest in exposing secrets. I was just curious to see how far Mondstadt's Dark Knight hero would really go. And you did not disappoint. I have nothing to prove to you. Oh, naturally. I must say, though, one thing I didn't see coming is that the mighty Dark Knight hero would actually need help from other people. Sorry, we're closing. Please see yourselves out. All right, all right. I have no further need of wine to entertain myself tonight in any case. Just one last thing before I go. It had better be the very last thing. I feel strangely comforted by the fact you now have an assistant, D. Luke. I hope you all have a wonderful night. What was all that about? <sighs> Don't mind him. Thank you for all your help with this matter. 
This is a token of my gratitude. Wow! Thanks, Master Diluc! I'm in the habit of working alone. But... I did enjoy having your assistance this time. In the future, if there's anything you ever need, you can come to me for help. Even if you are a close friend... Another... Dandelion wine. 